Hi there and welcome to another in our series of short videos covering aspects of behavioural economics. In this session we're going to be focusing on the idea of social norms and social networks and copying behaviour. Traditional economics assumes that people make their choices independently of one another. However, in contrast, behavioural economists believe that most decisions are taken in a social context and they're taken within social networks. What that means is that people, individuals and groups are influenced by social preferences, by the strength of their identity uh, and also by the social norms that exist within a community within societies. We often find that people imitate the behaviour of others almost automatically. And this is something that's not assumed in conventional economic thinking. Many of the decisions and choices that people make are inherently social, contextual, and of course they happen within networks. They happen within groups, often interrelated groups within a society. Copying behaviour uh, by agents, it could be producers, it's often consumers, is essentially intuitive, it's widespread, indeed it's often rational to copy the behaviours of others. People will check out TripAdvisor before finding a hotel. People look to see what their mates are doing before choosing which summer festival to go to. Uh, people will share uh, ideas and recommendations for apps and for videos on YouTube. Copying behaviour within social networks is an absolutely part and parcel of everyday life. Social norms are also important. Here's a really good example from inner cities. How can we get people, fewer people, to use graffiti uh, on boarded up shops or shops that are closed for the evening? They tried this experiment where they painted pictures of local children on the, on the, on the boards there. And the result was a substantial fall in graffiti, partly because there was a social norm and a sense of community belonging that, in, in, that caused people not to, uh, to abuse those facilities. So social norms are where our day-to-day -day behaviour are influenced often deeply by social custom. And these social norms can change over time. Go back 30 years, uh, people used to have one for the road in the pub before driving home. There's been a change in the social stigma of drink driving and also of, of speeding on the roads. Maybe that will also apply itself to using mobile phones whilst at, whilst at the wheel. People tend to obey social norms all the time. They, uh, they observe white lines in car parks. They, they queue up in shops. Uh, they obey the law. They don't smoke necessarily in public places. Um, norms of reciprocity kick in. If, you, if you're in a group at a pub, you tend to take your turn to buy around. It's making seatbelts compulsory um, two, two or three decades ago um, was seen at the time as a major change in the law. Actually, now it's become absolutely part and parcel of everyday life. It's become a convention which has then become self-sustaining. So social behaviour can amplify community behaviour for good or for bad. But the crucial point is that our day-to-day -day choices in markets are deeply influenced by the prevailing social norms and social customs. They make a big difference. So social norms are something you need to study well as part of your look at behavioural economics. 